How you doing? Welcome back. My name is Rick and this is Winders Ranger. So I had a question come up on the uh, washer dryer combo that I've got installed here in the RV and the question was does the dryer feature or function does that just dump the hot air out into the room? The easy answer is no it doesn't. However it does um, radiate I guess a little bit of heat into the room. It's not terrible but we're going to answer that question today as to just how hot it gets. I've got a load of laundry that's already washed. It's ready to be dried. So we're going to start that and we're going to take a uh, temperature reading inside the room in a couple different places on the washer dryer itself and the walls and things just to kind of get an idea of what the ambient temperature is. This is after it's washed a load so it's probably going to be a little bit warm but we're in the garage portion of the uh, toy hauler and this isn't really climate controlled. It gets a little bit of the cool air from the uh, the other portion of the RV, but it's I've also got a, uh, the vent fan open up above here, so it's really not cool back here by any means. So let me turn the camera around and we'll take a couple readings. We'll get the dryer started and we'll go from there. Okay, so we got the dryer going. Got our uh, infrared laser thermometer. So we'll take a couple here. We'll get one on the front. It says 81 degrees there. Get one on the top here. It's uh, also 81, not focusing all that great. Get one on the wall straight ahead. 82. Get one on this wall. That's probably going to be cooler because that's got inside. Yeah, it's uh, 79 down here on the floor. Hmm. Let me reset that. There we go. 78 on the floor and up here by the vent it's not focusing on that thing very well we've got another 82 all right so we're right around 80 degrees give or take 80 81 degrees so we got to set this thing to dry start it up and I don't know there may be more than one way but this is the way I've always been doing it's worked for me you just hit the dry function it's already spun so I don't need to hit spin again and you can select normal more dry a time dry low temperature or damp I go with normal and then kind of go from there when it's when it finishes to see how the clothes feel I got uh, some thicker cotton stuff in there cotton polyester blend and some polyester stuff and then some socks and things so so we'll see like the socks and the he heavier cotton stuff probably won't be quite dry but we'll start that it thinks about it for a minute to see uh, it kind of I think it spins that a couple times to kind of get an idea how long it needs to take and what settings it's set at and then it'll come up with a time for how long it's going to take and it's going to be a couple hours it's probably going to be close to two hours before it's done but it's not pressing to have it done right now so it can take all, all the time it needs as long as it gets done I don't really care see it's tumbling the stuff in there right now I think it's measuring the uh, the weight of the clothes to get an estimate of what the water content is to how long it's going to take how does this actually work that's a good question I wouldn't mind having one of these uh, torn apart so I could see you can hear it, it I think it it's drawing some water in and it's using kind of like a, a heat steam function and then it ejects that water out through the drain tube over here and there's also a spot on the front where you've got a you got a little drain hose in here and a um, uh, coin catch so if anything's inside the washer that can't go out through the drain it gets caught in here but this uh, drain hose has to be drained periodically It'll give you an alarm when it needs to be drained. I, I've never run it to the point that I got an alarm. I always drain it every, I don't know, there's no real science, maybe two or three, maybe four wash loads, and then I'll drain it. And I just have a, a little bowl or a dish or something, take that hose and pull it out, pull the plug, and it drains. But as far as the heating function, it's it's got a heating element in it someplace, and it but it doesn't blow hot air into the room at all. It's, it stays inside that thing somehow. And I think whatever that hot water that it gets from the clothes or the steaming function, it just goes out through the drain or down into the collection down below here. So 
I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't mind seeing the inner workings. I don't know, some kind of wizardry going on in there. But uh, we've got an hour and 17 minutes for this to dry. We'll come back and check it later. See what the temperatures are. So it's been just a little bit more than an hour. We've got 14 minutes left to go on uh, on this setting. Like I said, I, I may end up running this a little bit longer to uh, get the heavier clothes just a little bit more dry. But let me get the thermometer here and we'll measure the temperature. Let's see on the front. 106 on the face here. This uh, this is a little bit open, so let's measure. That's actually it's got just a little bit of hot air coming out of there. Let's measure that. I mean, we're not going to get the air so much. 109, 111, 110 on the face of this. That's probably the most direct uh, contact with the inside of the machine as you're going to get. Uh, let's try on the top here. Also 111. 99, 101, 101, 100. So the heating element, that must be you know, somewhere right over top. It's 118 right there in the center, or close to the center. But that's the machine itself. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's quite that hot in the room. Let's measure the wall over there. 92. 84. We'll measure the ceiling here. That's 84. The floor here in front of the machine, 82. So now, keep in mind, the ceiling fan's going, so that's drawing air out, and it's pulling cool air in from one of the vents in the back of the the rig here. So that's affecting the room temperature a little bit. Um, you know, if this was inside a, a residential house or something, you know, an actual house, sticks and bricks, uh, the temperature inside might be different than it is inside an RV. This isn't insulated all that good at all, but um, at least that gives you an idea. The machine itself, yeah, it gets a little warm, but it's not, it's not so much that I, if I had an apartment or something, I wouldn't care if I had this inside. This wouldn't be too bad of a deal. In fact, um, if uh, you had somebody that's not all together that handy as far as drilling a hole in the wall for the vent or something like that this would be just fine and I'll tell you I had a couple of clothes here recently that had some stains on them I got mustard on a t-shirt here not too long ago and um, I had uh, cut myself shaving and I ended up getting a little bit of blood on one of my shirts it was just a little bit but it was enough that uh, you know I, I put both of those in in the washer here and washed them and I didn't add anything extra for uh, stain removal, just the plain old um, detergent that I would normally add in, and it took both those stains out no problem. So I, I was actually pretty impressed. I figured there'd be a little residual, especially with the mustard. I figured that would stick around, but it took it all out. Can't even tell that it was there. So anyway, there you have it. The uh, temperature got the readings around the machine and on the machine. Uh, while it's drying. So it's not unbearable. It's definitely usable. Hope this helps and answers some questions. Uh, if you would, hit that thumbs up. That helps promote the video and gets it out on the platform. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe button. That'll keep you up to date on future videos to come. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.